Today on our 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number is 118384. Here's what our wiring harness is going to look like when we pull it out of the package. As you can see, there's not a lot to it. This is a very simple, straightforward wiring kit to install. You'll see why they call it the T connector. We're going to be able to connect this into a plug that exists on the back of the Grand Cherokee and it's then going to send the signals through our wire to our four pole flat trailer connector. Now this connector is going to work with your cargo carriers, your utility trailers, whatever you might have as long as it has the four pole flat and it delivers right turn and brake signal, left turn and brake signal, running lights and also the ground. That makes sure we have a good connection and we're getting proper ground to our trailer so all of our lights work. Also you'll see the dust cap that's included attached there. It's going to come down, protects those connectors from any kind of moisture, dirt, and debris, which eventually cause corrosion and lead to wiring failure. Now the plug that we're looking for is going to be located just a little from center, closer to the driver's side, up behind the bumper fascia. It's about right here, pretty easy to get to. Now you see our plug right here, it's connected to our attachment point. It's got a little cover on one side of it. You want to go to the opposite side of that. And there's a little attachment tab right here. If you'll pull down on that, with a screwdriver, you can slide that off and we can bring our plug over here where we can work on it. We'll have a small push button right here. You'll push that in and just wiggle that cap to remove it, exposing our connector. Now before we plug in our connector to ensure we don't have any corrosion issues, we like to use some dielectric grease, just going to prevent rust and corrosion in our plug. This is part number 11755 if you don't already have some at home. You just want to give it a pretty generous amount on each of the pins in there. This is going to help prevent rust and corrosion so we don't have issues down the road. Now as we slide our plug in, we want to watch that tab to tip up and also we'll hear a little click. Then you should be able to pull on that without it separating. We're not going to be using the other side of our plug. It doesn't have to go anywhere, but it's definitely a good idea to put our cap back on after we apply a little dielectric grease here as well. Now the clip that we removed our plug from earlier, we're going to use a trim panel tool or a screwdriver, get that pulled off, slide that in, reattach it to our plug, and we'll put it right back in the hole we removed it from. The other end of our T connector here, I'm going to put a zip tie around it, that's going to prevent it from moving around. Trim off our excess there. Then we can decide how much of our four pole that we're actually going to need to make the connection to our trailer. Once we've decided on that, we can secure it off. I like to use the connector there, that little protective cover. For the excess that we have, that'll be bundled right above our hitch. And the use of a couple long zip ties will keep that secure for us. Now if you have the dielectric grease, it's also an excellent idea to put some on the end of each of our connectors here. And again, just like before, prevents rust, prevents corrosion, which will have us, which will give us good working wiring anytime we hook up. Now at this point, our job's done. The wiring's installed, it's where we want it. We do need to head to the dealership, however, so they can program the computer to actually send the signals back to our plug. When they leave the factory, if it doesn't have the tow package, they don't connect those. So at this point, it's just a quick, simple thing that your dealership can do and have this plug activated for you so you can power your trailer or cargo carrier. And with everything secured, that's going to complete our installation of the Decancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four pole flat trailer connector. Part number 118384 on our 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.